A new city called Third Mumbai, what is the buzz about Third Mumbai? The vibrant city of Mumbai, often referred to as the City of Dreams, faces a familiar challenge, the relentless surge in population and the consequent strain on its infrastructure. To address this, the Maharashtra state government has embarked on an ambitious venture, the creation of a new city christened Third Mumbai. This groundbreaking project, centered around the upcoming Navi Mumbai International Airport and connected by the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, MTHL, holds the promise of redefining the Mumbai Metropolitan Region, MMR. In this comprehensive analysis, we delve into the historical context, geographical significance, socio-economic impact, and technical details of the Third Mumbai Initiative. Hi friend! Welcome to SciTech Buzz channel. Please remember to subscribe to this channel after viewing this video. Kindly watch this until the end in order to receive all the details of this interesting video. Historical Context for Inception of Third Mumbai The inception of the Third Mumbai project traces back to November 27, 2022, when Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis laid out the concept. His visionary proclamation outlined a strategic emphasis on port-led connectivity in ecosystem development, to be located around the Navi Mumbai Airport Influence Notified Area or the Nina region, signaling the birth of a city that transcends conventional urban planning. As the project gained momentum, the historical significance of Mumbai as an economic powerhouse set the stage for the ambitious venture, reflecting the city's perpetual spirit of growth and innovation. Geographical Significance Situated on the west coast of Maharashtra state, India, bordering the Arabian Sea, the Mumbai metropolitan region spans a vast and varied landscape, comprising bustling urban centers, coastal areas, and verdant hinterlands. The geographic location of the proposed third Mumbai is situated between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai in the state of Maharashtra, India. Specifically, it lies on a narrow peninsula southwest of Salset Island, with the Arabian Sea to the west, Thane Creek to the east, and Vasai Creek to the north. This emerging urban center is poised to be even larger than its existing counterparts. The proposed third Mumbai is strategically positioned around the Navi Mumbai International Airport, a nod to the city's ever-expanding air traffic needs. The choice of location underscores the government's commitment to developing far-reaching regions, including Olwi, Penn, Punvel, Uran, Kurjat, and surrounding areas, encapsulating an expansive 323 square kms. Mumbai City covers approximate 600 sq kms of area, Navi Mumbai around 344 sq kms while Nina is on 370 sq kms area with 174 villages. Socio-economic significance of Third Mumbai Economic hub, the Third Mumbai is set to become a hub for India's digital economy and industry 4.0. It will house the nation's most data centers, contributing significantly to technological advancements. Population and economy, with an estimated population of around 20 million people, Mumbai is India's largest city and the fourth largest in the world. It holds the status of an alpha city due to its economic importance. Commercial capital, Mumbai is India's commercial and financial capital, contributing approximately US $310 billion to its economy. It handles 70% of India's maritime trade and produces 25% of its industrial output. Financial institutions, the Reserve Bank of India and major banks have their headquarters in Mumbai. Additionally, the city hosts the two largest national stock exchanges. Entertainment industry, Mumbai is home to Bollywood, India's largest film industry. It also houses chemical, petrochemical, and pharmaceutical industries. Connectivity, the third Mumbai will benefit from improved connectivity, including a 22km sea link connecting Mumbai to Navi Mumbai. A second port with increased handling capacity is also planned. Background details of developments regarding Third Mumbai For the Navi Mumbai International Airport, while granting the Environmental and Coastal Regulations Zone CRZ, clearances to the proposed Greenfield Airport Ministry of Environment and Forest MOEF, Government of India, 
expressed concern about unplanned and haphazard development around airport within 25 kilometers of the airport. In pursuance of these concerns, the government of Maharashtra Veed notification dated October 1, 2013 appointed the City and Industrial Corporation of Maharashtra, SIDCO, as Special Planning Authority, SPA, under Section 40. I. B. of MR and TP Act, 1966 for Navi Mumbai Airport Influence Notified Area, Nina, for about 560 sq.km containing 270 villages in the Thane District, 14 villages, and Rai God District, 256 villages. Nina enjoys proximity of Navi Mumbai and has influence of Navi Mumbai International Airport, NMIA, JNPT, Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust, and proposed transport corridors viz. Multimodal Corridor, Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, MTHL, Dedicated Freight Corridor, DFC, Spur, etc. What is Nina Project? Government of Maharashtra Veed Notification dated October 1, 2013 appointed SIDCO as Special Planning Authority under Section 40, 1, of MR and TP Act, 1966 for area at measuring 560 sq.km. Comprising 256 villages of Raigad District and 14 villages of Thane District. Subsequently Government of Maharashtra reduced the project area to 461 square kms. Comprising 224 villages. Vision of the Nina Project. To promote participatory model of development. Sensitive to environmental concerns. Unleash the land potential by providing world-class infrastructure. Self-sustaining financing model. Technical details and infrastructure blueprint of 3rd Mumbai. At the heart of the 3rd Mumbai initiative lies a meticulous infrastructure blueprint designed to cater to diverse needs. The Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, MRDA, takes the lead, spearheading the transformation through the newly formed New Town Development Authority, NTDA. Covering approximately 200 villages, with 80 to 90 falling within the Navi Mumbai Airport Influence Notified Area, Nina, the NTDA is entrusted with reshaping the far ends of the MMR. The city's infrastructure is envisioned to encompass residential developments, spanning both luxury and affordable segments, commercial complexes, data centers, hubs for multinational corporations, MNCs, banks, financial companies, and expansive knowledge parks. A government official affirmed, we are calling it the third Mumbai which will have all the necessary infrastructure that a well-developed city should have. A robust public transportation system shall also be developed there. Economic Catalysts and Future Prospects With an eye on economic growth, the government envisions the development of a second Bandra Kurla complex, BKC, in Kargar, earmarking around 150 hectares for a purely commercial area that would attract both Indian companies and MNCs. The grand ambition extends to positioning the entire MMR, including the proposed third Mumbai, as a potential 0.25 trillion US dollars economy generator. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, MTHL, and Navi Mumbai International Airport are slated to play a pivotal role in propelling India's GDP by one percentage point. Historical Background of the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, also known as Atal Bihari Vajpayee Surin Hava Shiva Atal Satu, is more than just a crucial connector, it represents a marvel of engineering ingenuity. The idea of a Trans Harbor Link dates back to the early 1970s, recognizing the need for enhanced connectivity between Mumbai and its mainland. The project gained momentum in the late 2000s, with the aim of reducing the travel time between South Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. The historical significance of this link lies not only in its infrastructural prowess but also in its potential to reshape the socio-economic fabric of the region. Scheduled to link Sori in South Mumbai with Nhava Shiva in Navi Mumbai, the MTHL is a cable-stayed bridge spanning the Mumbai Bay. This 22-kilometer long marvel will not only alleviate traffic congestion but also foster economic growth by enhancing accessibility to Navi Mumbai. 
The government's foresight in approving and executing such a monumental project reflects a commitment to the city's future, acknowledging that efficient connectivity is the lifeblood of any thriving metropolis. Navi Mumbai International Airport and Regional Connectivity A crucial component of the third Mumbai initiative is the Navi Mumbai International Airport, NMIA, slated to open its doors next December. This airport is not merely an aviation hub, it is a strategic move to alleviate pressure on the existing Mumbai airport and bolster regional connectivity. The first phase of NMIA is expected to handle 20 million passengers annually, providing a significant boost to the burgeoning air travel demands of the MMR. Socioeconomic Impact and Development Challenges As the vision for the third Mumbai unfolds, it is imperative to address the socioeconomic impact and the challenges that accompany such transformative endeavors. While the economic prospects are promising, concerns have been raised regarding the affordability of housing opportunities in the Naina region. Developers argue that exorbitant development charges may hinder the realization of affordable housing goals, emphasizing the need for a balanced approach in residential and commercial space planning. The Role of Rail Connectivity To fortify public transportation, a new Panvelkarjat suburban rail corridor has been proposed by the Mumbai Rail Vikas Corporation, MRVC, at a cost of 812 Indian rupees crore. This rail corridor, with its three tunnels and two rail flyovers, aims to connect Navi Mumbai with the Rai Ghat district of MMR. The project, currently at 43% completion, is expected to be fully operational by December 2025. Covering five railway stations, including Punvel and Karjat, the rail corridor is not just a means of transportation but a catalyst for the development of Punvel, Karjat, Naina, and the proposed NTDA. It will facilitate local trains running between Mumbai and Kurjat via Punvel, opening up new avenues for regional connectivity. The Historical Landscape of Mumbai's Rail Network Delving into the historical context of Mumbai's rail network adds depth to the understanding of the proposed rail corridor. Mumbai's first railway line, connecting Bombay, now Mumbai, to Thane, was inaugurated in 1853, making it the first railway line in Asia. Since then, the suburban railway network has expanded exponentially, becoming the lifeline of the city. The proposed Panvelkarjat corridor is a testament to the continuous evolution of Mumbai's rail infrastructure to meet the growing demands of its expanding population. Conclusion The journey towards creating the third Mumbai is a multifaceted expedition encompassing historical, geographical, socio-economic, and technical dimensions. As the government's vision unfolds, collaboration between the MMRDA and Nidhi Aayog becomes increasingly crucial. The collective goal is to elevate Mumbai's gross domestic product from the current $140 billion to an ambitious $300 billion by 2030. The impending completion of the Navi Mumbai International Airport and the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is poised to reshape the region's landscape, ushering in a new era of connectivity and economic prosperity. In navigating the complexities of urban development, the third Mumbai stands as a testament to the power of foresight and strategic planning. As stakeholders work towards the common goal of transforming Mumbai into a global economic powerhouse, the third Mumbai emerges as a beacon of progress, poised to redefine the contours of India's financial capital. Stay tuned for further developments on this project. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.